Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Disney Dust. Disney Duane here, really excited to talk to you about the much-awaited live-action Pooh movie called Christopher Robin. Now, not too long ago, we saw the Goodbye Christopher Robin movie, which is a non-official Disney movie, and uh, that focused on the life of A.A. Milne, the writer of Winnie the Pooh, and also his son Christopher Robin. Well, in comparison, I was wondering how it was going to be like. Would we see the Christopher Robin from, from real life, um, moving on in his adulthood and like is it going to be an autobiography but we find out that it is not because how could it be if Pooh and friends are going to appear in this movie right so this movie is fantastical in the sense that it actually has Pooh uh, and Eeyore and and everybody else Tigger and um, Piglet come to life in our actual world so that's the only part that you know some people may have an issue with uh, in terms of him not being a figment of Christopher Robin's imagination uh, and it also kind of takes away the the metaphoric sense of things so spoilers are coming up click away if you haven't watched the movie but if you want to continue this conversation anyhow stay tuned so just a little short trivia here to note um, do you know that Ewan McGregor and Domhnall Gleeson have something in common They've played two Disney characters so far in the Pooh movies, but yes, they also played two other Disney characters in the Star Wars movies. Go look that up on IMDb to find out which characters they play. I'm sure you know one of them pretty well. In any case, uh, this was really exciting. I know some reviews have said this movie was, you know, too much, too sugary, too sweet and everything, but that's the beauty of Pooh. If you don't like Pooh in general, you will not like this movie. But if you do like Pooh, I think this movie pretty much stayed true to Pooh's essence. And you know, it's just that Bear is so endearing, you can't fault him. However, I do want to say at points, you know, there were moments where I wanted to scream at Pooh because he was being a silly bear with no brain. But you gotta remember that if you do get frustrated with Pooh, it's because you see things differently. This bear sees things so differently. He is a bear with heart. He reminds us of the simple things in life, like play, you know, keeping your inner child, and innocence and love and all these important qualities that we forget so much in the world today and it's especially shown um, you know in the movie footage because you see this red bright balloon and his red bright tea amidst all this no color you know a sea of almost no color dull colors uh, and we've forgotten we've forgotten how to add color to our lives so all these metaphors that who represents in the movie were wonderfully executed you know like they are things that of course we've all heard of before but you know at the end of the day it is a great reminder and I'm so glad this movie is here to remind us of all of that so to that review that I read that it's all sugary and sweet and nothing new well that's not the point right and it's so nice to see who done in a different way it's like the actual soft toy versions because it's live action so that's what he grew up with uh, and they're a little bit older and you know the only thing is that the animated versions of say owl uh, were a little CG like so I was hoping that all the characters would stay in the same vein of this so fluffy soft toy look but not all not always um, however the soft toy look was wonderfully achieved I don't even know how they did it it was so real and it's so well integrated you just don't think it's CGI it's crazy it's crazy technology so um, there were points where I felt like you know especially towards the end where everything was resolved so simply and easily as if real life um, you know was that easy to solve um, I think in some ways I'm okay with it because it just goes to show if you really trust that play and all these good things you do and imagination and creativity um, are more important maybe if you take that leap of faith maybe everything else will be fixed and I believe it can be so I think that's the message of the movie uh, it's not some convenient tie up at the end so I would give this movie a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Uh, it is a great movie. In any case, uh, tune into the next episode when we review another Disney movie coming up. I think it will be Wreck-It Ralph this time. Wreck-It Ralph 2. Till the next episode. Bye.